Hi, and welcome to Coders in Hood channel. In this series of videos, we are aiming to prepare you for whiteboard questions in the future. We all hate them, but because of that, we need to be ready and make this process less painful. Before we start, please make sure that you are subscribed to our channel, join our guitar and follow us on Twitter, so you never miss new videos and group projects. In this video, I want to show you how to build a function which will dynamically build a Tribonacci sequence. You may ask what is that? And this is a good question. Have you ever heard about Fibonacci sequence? Wikipedia says that Fibonacci sequence is a sequence where each number is the sum of the two preceding, starting from 0 and 1. So 1 and 1 is 2, 1 and 2 is 3, and so on and on. If you are curious, you can read about its history here and why it's so popular around mathematicians and programmers. Today we will build an algorithm which will take a sum of three preceding numbers, not two. The rest will be the same. First, I need to clone my repository from our GitHub account, as I recently bought a new laptop, so I don't have it on my machine. Recently I got a feedback that my keyboard sounds really nice. Please like this video if you like keyboard sound too. So I'm cloning my repo to my desktop. So now I need to create a folder for our exercise. And now we can open the whole projects folder in our code editor or IDE. Have you seen our previous videos where I explained how to count selected characters inside an array, select and sort only odd numbers and many others? Please check it, you might find it very useful. Ok, here in my editor, I want to copy everything from our template folder to the Tribonacci one. Let me open our index file in our browser. And here you can see our template. We also need to have our console to see the result from our function. In our Tribonacci folder, I want to create JS folder and index.js inside, where we will write our function. Do not forget to link this file to your index.html. In other case, you can't see the result. Let me console log something to make sure that our setup is working as we want. Nice! We can start to write some code. First thing is that I want to declare some pattern. So I'm creating a variable pattern, which is an array of numbers. Let's say 0, 2 and 4. Now I want to declare my function, which I named Tribonacci sequence. This function expects two parameters, our pattern and our numbers of elements that we want to show in our generated sequence. I want to call this function with our pattern as a first parameter and let's say we want to generate the first five numbers. Now in my function on the first step, I want to clone my pattern to the local variable. I use let not const as I want to generate new numbers and push them to it. Next I need a classic for loop. So i is 0, i less than not just our numbers limit but minus pattern length, so we will save extra steps that we don't need to do, and of course, increment our i after every iteration. Now I want to take my sequence and use push method to push each new number during our each iteration inside our for loop. But what number do we want to push? We want to push the sum of the previous three numbers of our sequence. Every time I need to take the last three numbers. Any ideas how to do that? Remember, I showed you that if you want to get the last element from your array, you can use array.length minus 1, as the index starts from 0. So I want to take sequence.length minus 1 for the last number, sequence.length minus 2 for the second from the end, and sequence.length minus 3 for the third one, and sum them up. Now I can return our sequence, but not whole, I want to return a slice of it. Remember that we want to return the only limited amount of numbers. 
I use slash js method, starts from zero and end in n, which is our second parameter. Of course, let me put console log to log our result. Let's check it in the browser. Nice. As our limit is five numbers, we have only five numbers. Let me change our limit to 10. And yes, now we have 10 numbers in our array. To convert our Fibonacci sequence to Fibonacci one, all we need to do is to remove the third element from our calculation. Let me put the first three numbers of Fibonacci sequence as a pattern, so we can check it with a real one. So 0, 1 and 1. And here we can see a Fibonacci sequence. As our video about Fibonacci sequence, I will revert my code to the previous state. Perfect. Don't forget to commit your code. If you commit your code every time, you will make your GitHub attractive to your potential employers. So don't be shy. Leave a proper comment for every commit. Let me check, did I update my repo? Yes, we have it here. Hope you liked this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel, join our Gitter and follow us on Twitter. See you in the next videos.